Hi guys and welcome to my channel. Today's video has been a heavily requested one, so here I am discussing the Colleen Gorilla controversy that's currently creating a huge stir in the art community. If you guys don't know what I'm referring to, don't worry, I'll go over the oopsies Colleen has been accused of, her response to all of it, and finally my own perspective on the topic, as a longtime subscriber of hers who also happens to be black. This video will be more of a critique than a personal attack, so for y'all who are here for the drama and messiness, hi! I hope you stay and subscribe for more but also please don't go out of your way to attack or harass Colleen or anyone else I mentioned in this video. YouTube is infamous for suppressing content that discusses sensitive topics like these so to counter that please like this video, share it to your group chat or to one other person you know and leave a comment for the algorithm. Thank you in advance. Now let's get into the video. I'm sure many of you are somewhat familiar with who Colleen is, and no, I don't mean the toxic gossip during Colleen, I mean the artist Colleen, with a K. Maybe you've gotten a glimpse of her content while getting sucked into the black hole that is known as the YouTube Shorts algorithm, Instagram Reels, or even TikTok. But if you haven't, Colleen is a talented artist who has garnered a huge audience of over 2 million subscribers by posting art tips, tutorials, and general art-related content here on YouTube. Colleen is known for being sarcastic and satirical in many of her art tutorials, and I personally found her channel through her Fixing Art series, where subscribers can submit their art to be roasted and critique in a jokey way by Colleen herself. This satirical way of creating content has led Colleen into some hot waters by those in the art community who don't like her joke deliveries or just dislike the way she creates tutorials in general. And so, she has been getting both love and support from the art community, but on the other hand, she has also garnered a vocal minority of hate watchers throughout her time posting online. The reason I'm discussing Colleen today though is because she has been caught in a controversy that crossed the line from being just funny to something more offensive. This all kicked off a few weeks ago when Colleen posted a now-deleted tutorial on how to draw side profiles the correct way. She showed two versions of side profiles next to each other and proceeded to give advice on how she thinks they should be drawn. What pissed people off was not the tip she gave, but rather the unnecessary text she added in the tutorial on how the wrong side was, and I quote, gorilla looking. This upset many viewers because the features that she claimed were gorilla looking are features that are mostly prominent in black people. This discovery led to an avalanche of exposés that accused Colleen of having a pattern of saying questionable things regarding black people in art. Some of these accusations included a time when Colleen was called out for fixing a drawing of a black woman that was submitted to be roasted in her fixing art series. The problem arose when Colleen proceeded to liquefy and remove the more ethnic features the drawing had while following the rules set out in her side profile tutorial. What made this even more controversial is that Colleen presented this change as constructive criticism rather than realizing that the features she was removing are common in black people and should not be overlooked even in the art style she draws in. Another thing she was accused of was calling a drawing of a black woman's lips ugly, while proceeding to show how to draw prettier lips. The word on the Twitter streets is that apparently the artist who drew the lips in question did not consent to the drawing being used by Colleen in this manner, but after I tried to verify this information, I found nothing to corroborate it so I don't know if it's actually true. Whatever the case may be, in the end, people took issue with Colleen for criticizing how the lips looked because that lip shape is very common in black women. Colleen was also called out for making fun of a drawing of a black girl for having four eyebrows, despite the things she was making fun of being edges, which for those of you who don't know, is a common way for black women to style their baby hairs. And the final but largest accusation Colleen got was for saying that she doesn't draw ugly people, and then discovering that she hardly ever draws dark-skinned people. This led to many of her viewers and people watching on the sidelines forming conclusions on Colleen's opinions regarding black people and whether she was making these mistakes out of ignorance or out of malice towards a group. When the insensitive gorilla comment was criticized by Colleen's viewers, she quietly deleted the video where it was made and for a few weeks continued to post as if nothing happened. This only fueled the anger of those who got offended by the instances I mentioned earlier. And it wasn't long before the situation 
situation got out of hand. Colleen started getting bombarded by comments in her newer post to address the controversies and to apologize, while TikTok did what TikTok does best, meme the situation. This all culminated into Colleen finally making a public apology on her actions and claiming that she did not mean any harm and made said mistakes out of ignorance. She also vowed to do better going forward. Now that you're all caught up with what happened, let me get into the real issue with the situation. My biggest takeaway from this controversy is that I hope Colleen and other artists in these YouTube streets realize the power they hold with their audiences and are more careful with the messages they put out there. While Colleen is a very unserious creator who relies on humor and the roasting aspect, there is still a line that shouldn't be crossed, especially when it comes to topics like these. There is a saying that the road to hell is paved with good intentions, and I think that fits well here. At the end of the day, whether Colleen had good intentions with her tutorial or not, the impact it made is still very prominent, and it hurt numerous black viewers in her own community. The video in question garnered a large audience before its removal, and now there are countless number of young and impressionable artists out there that probably think that there is only one way of drawing side profiles and lips while anything else is either ugly or, and I quote, gorilla looking. Now do I personally think Colleen is racist for doing all this? Well, no, I don't. I believe when she says she was ignorant and I hope that this is a wake up call for her to be more responsible with her content going forward. At the end of the day, she took the problematic post down and apologized while vowing to change her behavior. That's really all we can hope for when a controversy like this happens. And while it took a while for her to respond, I think that we should just let her future actions speak for themselves. Of course, this is just my opinion and I don't expect everybody to agree with me. But yeah, if you do disagree, let me know in the comments what you think is like the proper way to go about things um i personally think that you know she apologized and i'll just go with that i also wanted to mention that while i appreciate representation in different artists works i also think it's wrong for us to attack or harass an artist to include us in their artwork I'm bringing this up because many on Twitter and TikTok kept mentioning that Colleen must be racist because she hardly ever draws dark skin characters, but in my opinion, that view is flawed. She's an artist and it's her choice to draw whatever she wants. If that's light skin Asian characters in a manhwa style, then so be it, and there's nothing wrong with that. For me, an issue arises if she draws a black person and then goes on to claim that it's tan rather than black. So let's try something new for once. Alright, tan. I'm damn near the same shade as the so-called Dan drawing, but you know what? I'm glad she apologized for that too. At the end of the day, as long as she's not mocking black people or whitewashing existing black characters, I think it's fine that she draws whatever she draws. Point is, if you harass people to draw more dark scene characters, that won't suddenly make racism go away. Nothing will change, so let artists decide for themselves what they want to draw without attacking them. Lastly, I won't deny that this controversy was perpetuated by people who don't actually care about racism or inclusivity. It's just people who hate Colleen for whatever reason, but now latched onto this so they could have a valid reason to harass and cancel her. I want to ask those people to stop. I think Colleen has made many valid mistakes to be critiqued over, but at the end of the day we should be educating her to make better choices rather than bullying and harassing her. It's really hard for people to take our criticism seriously, when so many bad faith actors that have nothing to do with the situation insert themselves into it and make it worse. And for those who are blindly defending Colleen from any criticism at all, please just shut up. That doesn't help in the slightest and only makes things worse. Heck, even Colleen agrees that she made mistakes. That's why she apologized. So please don't make excuses for her and let her learn from her mistakes. Anyways, I think I've said everything I needed to. So let's hop into my final thoughts and wrap this video up. I think it's important for us as artists and viewers to remember that our art has the power to shape perceptions and influence society. With great power comes great responsibility, especially when we have a large audience that we can teach something to. 
If we teach them our biases, then those biases will continue to be perpetuated in the future. So for Colleen and everybody else too that are creating tutorials, please just, you know, double check, triple check and make sure that whatever you're teaching is nothing harmful. So about this, randomly just realize how much power my hands hold. So this creator so describes some people's faces as gorilla looking so and people of color as right. being so tan. And I think we should go back to the beginning of her first video where she talks about the power of the artist. I don't think most people who don't have a good visual critical thinking sense understand the power the visuals have in our society. Sure, she's teaching people to draw, but underlying it are people who will learn to draw, potentially work in industries where these images become pervasive. And so if they are people who perceive this, to be a classic face and who see people of color as being othered and do not understand how to depict them as well, we find ourselves in a situation where we are upholding norms that our society is ideally moving past. And with power comes responsibility. And so for artists, rather than just drawing what you know, if you actually want to be an artist who communicates with a broad swath of people, you need to look and study from a broad swath of people, draw a broad swath of faces. I would love to hear what you guys think in the comments about anything I discussed in this video. Do you agree with me? Do you disagree with me? I would be reading all the comments and probably responding to them a ton. So leave the opinions and everything there. Before I end the video, I want to thank my lovely patrons and channel members. Thank you to OK Ether, Evie the Weirdo 162, Saint Raya, Lady Kimono, Selena BB, Brian Thomas, Galaxy Brain, Noah Smashy Smash, Ash W, Seiji Hito, Isabella, Me McLon, and Glitchy Garbage. Thank you guys so so much for always supporting me and helping keep this channel going. If you also want to contribute to this channel's well-being, please consider becoming a channel member or a patron. Uh, the link to become a member is in the description box down below. Thank you so much guys for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!